Oh God, I've let him go now. There we go. One big fat signal crowfish. They're quick, but I was quicker. Into the bucket you go. So with only one very angry crayfish, I'm going to repair to the kitchen of charming Eddington Mill to create crayfish scampi. I stood as still as a heron, didn't do particularly well, and ended up relying on a stash from the local river keeper. Now, what I did is poach these literally for no more than one minute. I don't want them to go hard, I want them to be very soft. But by poaching them for a very short amount of time, um, it means that the flesh comes very easily away from the shell rather than being a bit gluey and sticky. Um, I'm going to make a variation on a classic. Scampi is going to become crampy. Now, before I um, pane the scampi, I'm just going to make my tartar sauce. For that, I'll need a small shallot, a nice fat clove of garlic. The more crayfish you can eat, the better. So it's good to have a variety of different dishes so you don't get bored of them. Chop two tangy gherkins. Mm. Right, so all of that can go into a bowl, followed by a spoonful of capers. Now these are baby capers, they're so small that I'm not even going to bother chopping them and a little bit of tarragon and a little bit of dill. Gather them all up into a little ball and just finely chop them. The smell of the dill and the tarragon is just fantastic. And the last little scrap, grind of black pepper. And now I'm gonna make the mayonnaise. The reason I'm doing the tartar sauce before the crayfish is so that all the flavours in the tartar sauce kind of really blend together so by the time the crayfish are done then this will be tasting its best. Blend a light olive oil with two egg yolks previously combined with a blob of Dijon mustard and white wine vinegar. And you want it to be nice and thick. It shouldn't be runny, it should hold its own but not be too stiff, somewhere in the middle. Right, and in it goes with the rest of its companions. Look at that, I'm going to set it aside and dust the tails and claws in flour. Then beat an egg. And finally fresh breadcrumbs. Can't hide from me, you little sods. A little pile of crampy ready to be deep fried. <laughs> Plentiful crayfish, a wonderfully versatile riverside ingredient. Normally, etiquette is to share the food with the owners of the location, but they're not here. Now I'm going to eat them all. And what's great is you never get very many scampi in the pub. I've got loads.